Don't forget to subscribe to Panda Outdoors. Do it now. Okay, YouTube, so back in the shed. Um, on this video, I'm just gonna talk over some, this is like an unlikely place you may overlook thinking to get your preps. So, as you've probably just seen in the picture or in the thumbnail, um, you've seen some preps that we've got. So, we went to the, the market today and we got some unlikely preps. Um, they are, that you probably wouldn't go there, so it's kind of an overlooked little gem, really. So I'll go through some of the stuff that we got in this whole video. So first things first, I'll go through. I got a little breaching tool. So this could be for like a bug out kit if you live in like an urban area, or if you've got an emergency kit in your car or stuff like that. Comes with like a pry bar, an axe head, and a hammer. So um, you live in an urban area and you're making a bug out bag, this is quite good to have in it. So you can get out of the urban area if you've got to go through doors, gates, places that are locked. You've got a pry bar to pop locks open. You've got like an axe to breach in doors and a hammer to put windows through. Or if you need to bodge something together, you've got a few tools on there to bodge together. And as well, it also has a nail puller in it. So nice little breaching tool there. I think that was, um, I want to say that was like a fiver or something. We got it in a bit of a deal. So that was like a fiver, which is quite a good little bargain. And then moving on again, still with the cutting side of things, uh, we got ourselves a couple of little knives, just like a fish fishing one. I'm into me fishing, so got a little knife there, a little pocket knife. And it is UK legal, under three inches, and it doesn't lock, so it can go on your keys, or if you're into foraging, stuff like that, that's perfect to keep with your foraging kit or when you're out fishing. And then we got like a, I think, I don't know if it is a proper Swiss Army knife, but like a replica Swiss Army knife with a load of little functions. And the guy said there was a camping knife. Um, so pretty cool. Um, one of them, it's not too bad. It is quite sharp as well. So out the box, which isn't too bad. Um, and then sticking with like the camping theme and stuff like that, we managed to get a stove, which we have had a look. These are 20 quid on each Amazon. Uh, we got one each, me and Brownie. These were eight quid. Comes with a self igniter there, and it comes with the adapter, so you can run it on the cheaper gas as well eh, that you can get in most supermarkets, as well as run on normal camping gas. So this is really good, and it packs up quite small and compact in to the little red tub. So yeah, that was quite a good bargain, a good little addition to your kit as well. As I say, those are the stoves you get, like the square ones. They're quite big and bulky. There's a lot of working parts on them, they can fail. With this, it's, there's no real working parts. If the igniter fails, you just light it with a lighter. Um, and you can use the cheaper gas because it come with the um, little adapter. Again, even for 20 quid on Amazon, that's still a bargain, but we got them for eight quid. And then, moving on, um, just always good to keep in your preps, just some lighters. Um, fire lighting if you smoke. Lighting your stoves, um, lighting your gas cooker if the igniter fails on that. Lighting the fire in your house. There's a million one use for the lighter. Um, little little tip as well. Keep one of these in your car. If you've ever got a fray in your seatbelt or anything like that, um, that will fail an MOT. But if you run a lighter longer and melt it all back, it'll pass an MOT. So there's another little use for the lighter that you probably didn't realise you needed. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a lighter. A pack of lighters and then also we just got some household fuses um three amp up to 13 amp so this will do anything from a lamp your toaster kettle um uh, anything like that hair dryers some fuses again these are always good to keep in in an emergency you don't realize it you don't realize how handy these are until a fuse goes and then you're looking around the house one or you're trying to get one especially if it's late at night and you're trying to fix a lamp it's always good to have these in your little odds and sods kit or your little craft drawer in the house. Uh, and then moving on, I've been looking at a few videos on making barter kits as well. So you could add them fuses to the barter kits as well. Um, but yeah, just a little kit to keep in your car if you ever have to leave your, your uh, home for whatever reason. Whether it be a flood, um, civil unrest, anything like that. And you're being moved into, say... A church hall, a school, somewhere like that, just until whatever's happened is cleared and you can go back to your home. So a barter kit could come in handy. Um, 
or again if it is an SHTF situation and the world's fucked um, then yeah it's good to have one of these kits so I'm going to start putting one together so I just picked up some little shower gels and soaps and uh, shampoos um, they were like a pound for 20 so I've got 20 of those to keep in the bag um, to keep in the kit I've got 10 of those and I'm going to add to it uh, we've got some toothbrushes as well um, and toothpaste to add to this kit so if you're ever in that situation money's not really irrelevant it's not no use to you but if you've got a kit that you can trade things for so somebody needs a wash you've got shower gel for them somebody needs to clean the teeth it's a big morale booster brushing your teeth if anyone goes camping or anything like that you know what it's like if you've been out all day and you getting up in the morning brushing your teeth and just freshening yourself up makes you feel a million times better so if you're in a situation where you haven't been able to do that for a couple of days it boosts your morale tenfold so that's what we've gone for with, with them therefore my bartering kit that i'm going to put together also i've got picked up some vanish soap so these are really good you could even half these and trade somebody for half one for cleaning your clothes and stuff like that so if you are you are in a situation where you can't wash your clothes this and some water you'll be able to clean your clothes up freshen them up and away you go so that's why i picked up the vanish soap um which is quite a good little item to have anyway in your preps also um some big heavy duty uh, bin bags okay these are 50 litre uh, 50 litre 45 heavy duty bags they are a lot thicker than the normal bags so um these are good one for getting rid of the rubbish two you could put these in your bug out bag a couple of these in your bug out bag and you could make a debris bed with them so you could get leaves and stuff like that off the floor put them in the bag and it makes like big cushions you can sleep on them keeps you off the floor keeps you insulated um away from the cold and the damp that will um cause cause you a serious injury or illness uh, if you get cold in your back or inside inside you whatever so yeah can make debris beds with them there's a million and one uses for rubble bags bin liners stuff like that really good preps to have and then also i managed to get some heavy duty catering foil okay so this is for when i want to make like my tin foil hat to stop the aliens tapping into me and stuff like that i make this keeps all this great like a feather day cage for my head no i'm only kidding um this is good you can make makeshift lids for your pans you can make faraday cages with them for your electronics if there's an emp or a solar uh, a solar eclipse or a solar flare or whatever it is um but again it's just good for what it's meant for preparing food okay so um if you're out camping stuff like that load up the uh, load of potatoes in it bang it on the campfire make some little mini jack of potatoes um again you could make a makeshift signaler with it there's a million and one uses for heavy duty foil you could even make a makeshift bowl if you fold it in the right ways so yeah some heavy duty catering foil and then what we did there's a guy as we know he's there all the time we've bought a few of them uh, he does an assortment of like gloves and first aid kits i haven't got a box of gloves out with me i think we've put them away just let me have a look No, I haven't got them there. Um, normally, um, gloves, um, like the latex gloves. I thought we had some in the cupboard. They must be in the other the other shed. Um, so latex gloves. Again, they have a million and one uses for your first aid kits. If you're working on your vehicle, anything like that, uh, they come in handy. Even preparing food. So for you you guys who go camping on my videos having them with you if you're dicing chicken chopping chicken up or any type of meat or something like that wear a pair of latex gloves just peel them away throw them away you haven't really got to worry about washing your hands um brownie's just saying the gloves are here yeah. oh yeah like blue peter here's what we prepared earlier so there they are box of latex gloves okay in the market at the moment especially through covid these all shot up in price but if you shop around especially in like your markets your car retails 
you will pick these up quite cheap anywhere from two pounds to five pound depending on the quality of them the ones i got me misses they were only two pound that she was for hairdressing the ones we got a little bit more rugged um, that we use for working on the vehicles and stuff like that but again camping you're preparing food instead of having to wash your hands when water's hard to get hold of when you're camping and you don't really want to waste it take them off and throw them in the bin um, so yeah your latex gloves are a good one and also first aid kits okay we got a number of first aid kits as well and we got these at a really good price so you've got this one this comes with like eye wash and stuff like that in this one and then you've got a van and truck one i haven't opened this yet but i will do a video on me opening this and seeing what's in it um so we got i got two of each of these i got two of the orange ones and two of the blue ones these are good to just dot about throwing your truck or whatever or if you've got a bigger kit take it out you've got a box you can use for other stuff and add the content of this to your main kit and then also we got these nice cool little like handy like travel ones or outdoors ones they got a little bit of molly on them okay that you can just add clip onto your bag or anything like that but like a softer material um, and they are quite good just pop this one open okay so in here you get like bandages safety pins um triangle bandages plasters cleanse wipes cleaner wipes stuff like that uh, in there so they're a good little kit to just throw in your bag if you're out on day hike fishing out doing a bit of camping just have your own little first aid kit again it has got a good little box and you can add additional items to this so if you bought i think they were two pound and they were a pound so for three pound you have quite a substantial first aid kit there so you could take bits out of that one because you know you had scissors in this one and add it into that and then you've got quite a nice little first aid kit so that video was just me showing you the little hole that we got oh and also you can't see it um because it's it's the green background on the picture of the thumbnail i managed to get an x mod uh, towel for microfiber towel for two pound so that's going to be a fishing towel but yeah so that was just a nice little haul that we got um to add to the preps um that you can get from a market which is an un an overlooked source but when we were walking around there was loads of preps we could have got if i would have had more money we could have filled the car but i just got the main things that i was looking for that i am going to add to so i'll probably buy more of the little shampoos um and shower gels i'll probably pick up more catering foil which you can't never have too many tinfoil hats um and the first aid he does do bigger first aid kits so i will buy one of them as well uh, and show you the content of what's in that so that's the market stall haul um prepper video i hope you've enjoyed this video showing you some of the things you can get to add to your prep and arsenal and um, from an unlikely source i've been panda thanks for watching stay prepared and i'll catch you outdoors sometime take care now